Okay, was not expecting a full on event, but it is happening. Apple just sent out invites for their October 30th event. And this is by far the most interesting event we may have gotten in the past decade. For starters, um, it's not happening during the day. This event is taking place on Monday, October 30th. It's online only, so members of the press won't be there, and it's happening at 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. I know that sounds like a small detail, but again, Apple has never, to my knowledge, within the past 10 to 20 years, done an event at night. So that is... That, I, that is weird. It's also the night before Halloween in the United States. So Apple is using the tagline scary fast with an image of an Apple logo kind of silhouetted and lit up behind with a light of some sort, which honestly looks pretty sick. But the tagline itself, scary fast guys, 100%. I'm betting the channel on it. I, I've done this before when I'm confident we are getting M3 Max, all right? If we do not see the M3 chip announced, at this event, I will I will delete my YouTube channel. There is no way Apple is doing a whole event for just an M2 update to an iMac or a small spec bump for an iPad. This event, there is going to be something big, especially because if we look into a new teaser video that Apple published on their website, they do something incredibly revealing, something they haven't done before either. The video starts out with an expanded animation of this Apple logo design, but then it turns into the Finder logo the finder logo that um it's on the mac the finder is a mac only feature so if the writing wasn't on the wall for a big new mac update happening it it definitely is okay but what new macs are actually going to be coming before we jump into that just a quick word from today's sponsor i want to show you the new power bank i've been rocking on my iphone 15. this is the basis magnetic mini power bank with a 20,000 milliamp hour capacity and yeah it's just as much of a tank as it looks but first how strong are the magnets right this is a big pack it does not fall off the iphone and your iphone will not fall off the pack i'm actually really impressed with how strong the connection is because while your iphone's on here it can wirelessly charge over MagSafe up to seven and a half watts. But there's a trick up the sleeve because there's USB-C on the bottom. So if you want to switch from charging your iPhone, you could charge another device like your iPad using this pack. But wait, what if they're both dead? Well, Basis has come up with a really innovative charging system that allows you to do both. You can have your iPhone charging and your iPad with this pack at the same time. And with this design, you can do some pretty fun stuff like put your AirPods on the MagSafe to charge those while using the USB-C to power your phone, for example. Or you can even do a setup like this where you're charging the power bank and the power bank is in turn charging your iPhone. It's sort of the reverse wireless charging that I wish the iPhone had, but for some reason Apple refuses to add. And with a ridiculous 20,000 milliamp hour capacity, this power bank can charge an iPhone 15 Pro Max more than two times over or a pair of AirPods Pro 26 times in a row from zero to 100. So check out the Basis Magnetic Mini Power Bank by clicking the link down below in the description and get your hands on this 20,000 milliamp hour tank that is, it's just, it's perfect for the iPhone 15. Thanks to Basis for sponsoring. Now let's get back to it. Okay, the first Mac we're getting at this event, 100% is a new version of the 24 inch iMac. This computer has not been updated in over 900 days as we first saw it back in April of 2021 at the April event, probably one of my favorite of all time. We've heard from a number of sources now that this computer is getting an update from Bloomberg's Mark Gurman, from website Mac at Takara and others that have said this new iMac, it is coming. I mean, the question up until now was just M2 or M3. We now know it's going to be M3. You might look at the M3 chip and just assume it's going to be a small update because Apple's M2 chip, frankly, wasn't the biggest jump forward if you compare it to M1. But this time, that is not going to be the case. Apple's M3 chip is going to be the biggest leap in computing since we got the M1 chip in 2020. It's going to have massive CPU and GPU performance improvements because this chip will be one of the first in the industry to be based off of TSMC's three nanometer manufacturing technology, which is a super long way to say they figured out how to make the chip smaller, but more power efficient. 
which is a really good thing because it also means that ship is going to be more powerful in general. I really can't understate how big of a deal this is going to be. I wouldn't say it's gonna be on the same level as the M1 moment where Apple kind of surprised everyone, but as far as Mac GPUs go, based on what we've seen with the Apple A17 Pro chip, which is based on this three nanometer technology and it had huge GPU gains, we might be getting scary close, no pun intended, to the Mac being able to play games and do complex 3D rendering work. I'm not placing my bets on us being 100% there with M3, but I think we're getting close. Now back to the iMac, I think we also know what colors it's going to be available in. Because if we go back to the heat of iPhone season, you probably remember me talking about this photo of the new USB-C cables that would ship color matched and braided and longer length with the iPhone 15, but that never materialized. We never saw those cables with the iPhone 15. That's because it got mixed up in the rumors, but these were meant for the new iMac the entire time. And based off of this image, it suggests that we will be getting a blacked out M3 iMac, which could look so good on this iMac design. We're also looking at yellow sticking around, a pink slash coral color, blue will remain, and it looks like white slash purple. I can't really tell based off of this image in particular. So these are likely the colors. And another reason I believe these cables are legit is Apple is planning to update all of the magic accessories from Lightning that they currently have to USB-C. Why did Apple ever put a Lightning port on their magic accessories with a computer that didn't even have a Lightning port on it? I don't know. I don't have the answers to these things, but I'm in such a good mood, I'm willing to excuse it. My point is, with these new iMacs, we will be getting new Magic accessories as well, and you know, I'm just gonna throw out my dreams of maybe a backlit Magic keyboard, perhaps with M3. This is when we can finally see that materialize. Now, this iMac is also rumored to get faster Wi-Fi 6E on the inside, as well as updated Bluetooth 5.3, so the latest specs they're gonna be pushed to this computer, but the main point is M3. And is Apple, are they just doing this event for one computer, I mean, one Mac only? Initially, I thought that was going to be the vibe until I saw this report from Bloomberg's Mark Gurman. A few days ago, he hinted that actually new MacBook Pros were en route. And as I'm editing this, Mark Gurman just updated his prediction saying that these new MacBook Pros with M3 Pro and M3 Max they are likely happening. So we're getting M3, M3 Pro, M3 Max. Okay, let me continue, but just wanted to jump in. This is breaking news. Uh, we're not just getting the base M3 chip here. Now I know, let's go back a few months. We just got new MacBook Pro 14 and 16 inch models in January of this year when they were updated with the M2 Pro and the M2 Max at a random virtual January session. But because of the way that event was shot, it's very clear that those chips were supposed to launch at the end of 2022. They just got pushed to the beginning of 2023. And based on some stock levels that we're seeing across Apple retail stores and online, these higher end models of the MacBook Pro are not as much available as they once were. Other rumors for these updated MacBook Pros include a better display, something else that Mark Gurman just randomly hinted at. And I feel like he knows something that we don't. The displays on these Macs are already insane, but a better display obviously would be a good thing. I mean, even if they could extend the battery life even further with M3, it's already nuts on the Mac line. But I think the M3 chip has the ability to draw that battery life out even further because of the new efficiency. So that's the news for Macs. What about new iPads? We always get new iPads in October. In fact, every year at some point since the original iPad launched in 2010, we have gotten some new iPad model that year. Well, I'm sorry to break it to you guys, but Apple is breaking that trend in 2023 as well because we are not expecting iPads at this event. I mean, not only is Apple's teaser on their website just showing the Finder icon, I think a pretty clear hint at what their focus is here. Mark Gurman, who was the only one to call this event happening, has been saying no new iPads at all for weeks now. And even though Apple is working on a new version of the iPad Air with an M2 chip on the inside, an updated iPad mini 7 with some better specs, and even a refreshed base iPad 11. I don't believe that new iPads will be announced at this event. We are hearing March of 2024, Apple's going to do an iPad event, and I actually have a feeling Apple's going to announce the Vision Pro release date and details at that March event as well. Hold on, is this Tim Cook? Hello? Is this Tim? Tim, are we getting the M3? Can you confirm? Press one to confirm, two to cancel, or three to reschedule. 
There we go. We just got the M3, exclusive Apple track. Joking aside, I have been doing YouTube for over a decade, since I was like a boy. I was 14 years old when I updated my first video, over 10 years ago, and I've never seen this. In fact, if you would have told me yesterday we were getting an Apple event at 5 p.m. in the evening at the nighttime when the sun set, I would have laughed at you. I, I'm sorry, and I'm a mean guy for that because I should have believed you, but I would have laughed. There's just so much about this event that is weird, but one thing is for sure, something big is coming. I believe it's M3. I think the writing is there. I will literally put the Finder logo in the event uh, materials, but my point is, it's gonna be fun. It's the night before Halloween. Tim Cook, you know, might, might be dressed up. Could you imagine if all the Apple looks like dressed up in Halloween costumes? Like it would be kind of cringe, but it would also be kind of iconic. Anyway, let me know your thoughts down below. I am hyped. I will keep you updated, as you know, down to the minute of what we're getting at this event because I'm a freak like that. And that's just who I am. So I'm gonna accept myself for that. And I appreciate you guys accepting me as well. I've been Sam. Uh, check out Basis again. Thank you to them for sponsoring this video. They're great. That battery pack is it's actually sick. Okay, I've been Sam. I'll talk to you later. I think I already said that. Bye bye I'm excited, okay? Dude, we're getting another Apple event. Let's go! Yeah, I could have died right there.